guys, welcome back to the channel. I am ecstatic to announce that after about five or six sleepless nights in a row, my draft guide is finished. Big Dog's Got a Fantasy Football Draft Guide for 2017 is officially done, up on the website, available for purchase. So what does the draft guide include? It has my top 250 overall rankings. It has each positional ranking broken down by tiers. So it has the top 30, 35 quarterbacks, 80-ish running backs, wide receivers, top 35 tight ends, kickers, defenses, that kind of thing. It has an updated list of my top sleepers, my top overvalued guys, top busts, top undervalued guys, things like that. It has the key offensive additions to every team throughout the NFL, all 32 teams, including linemen, skill positions, all that kind of stuff. It's also got my favorite resources, and these are all updated. I know I've put a lot of this stuff out on YouTube, but throughout the summer, things change. Obviously, I find new websites, I find new players and stuff that I like, so all these are updated. I have my top eight resources for fantasy football, talking about where to find your ADPs, best stats and analysis, where to find the best efficiency statistics, so I'm talking about like air yards, Yards per carry against stacked fronts versus light fronts, spark scores, things like that. My favorite place is to do mock drafts, quirky stuff that you're not going to find in other strategy and draft guides. And lastly, most importantly, is the BDGE Bible. That is my draft day manifesto. It is like 4,000 words in this bad boy, broken down by position of a good draft strategy for this year for you. I'm talking about we're going through quarterbacks, who I'd be willing to take where, why you want to do the late round quarterback approach, backed by statistics of past years, guys that you want to specifically target this year. Same with running backs. Why do you do the zero RB? Why do you do the zero wide receiver? What are the best mid-round guys, early round guys? Why you should stay away from certain guys and what your draft strategy should be. How many Running back, should I take within the first couple rounds? Is it likely that these guys bust off? Is it likely that they flop out? Same thing with wide receivers. What you should be doing for tight ends. I think there's a very defined strategy for tight ends this year, as well as you know kickers and defenses. So all that is included in this draft guide. It is just $4.99. I'm telling you, just skip your Starbucks coffee tomorrow. Get the draft guide and you'll be set for fantasy this year. I'll show you exactly how to get it right now. I actually just purchased one myself to make sure the process works smoothly. So all you gotta do, you wanna sign on to the interwebs, go onto my website, bdgeat.com, and it should be right on the product page. So the first thing that pops up is boom, fantasy football draft guide, you'll see it right here. And you're just purchasing it like you'd purchase any other product. Add the cart and then just, I don't know why this is kind of messed up with the checkout things all the way down here. Check out once you do all your payment information and whatnot. It'll give you a link that says download and it will bring you to uh, this right here. And then you just download now, bing, bang, boom. It'll download as a PDF and it's all right there. And this is obviously, if it's a PDF, it's printable. You can select certain pages if you wanna do my rankings here. You could also just print those pages out for your for your draft, bring them in. When I was doing the magazine, they had, uh, it was like an HTML5, so it was like interactive. So when I was making them, I could put buttons and stuff that, that went to links and it was like imagery and, and interactive stuff within the magazine. However, when I wanted to go download it, you had to like upgrade to like a $65 a month subscription. I'm like, is that's out of control, so I'm not gonna do that. But so if you see anything weird, wonky within it, also if there's like, listen, this took me mad long to do. I put a lot of hours into it. I'm a one man person over here. So if there's like typos or things that are like clearly wrong, that just are like, what are you, are, what are you talking about? I was just going a little crazy because some of the stuff, you know, late night, monster fueled. So yeah, so just if, if there's like some things that are not perfectly aesthetic or typos or whatnot, just just keep on reading. I promise. In theory, most of the stuff makes sense, but. Again, I appreciate everybody that watches my videos, anyone that supports, anyone that chooses to buy this. Thank you so much. Let me know what you think about it if you do buy it. And uh, that's all I have to say. So thank you guys so much.